All right, let's go. You ready? What was the topic today? I, I forgot what the topic. Oh, wait, wait a minute. We have a topic today. I, I don't know. I'm just trying not to have these cameras fall off on me. Oh, they're all well, over the place. Oh yes, it's all over the place. <laughs> it has been. Busy. Are you ready? Yeah. Second in, second in. Oh, I'm sorry. Whoa. Are you yeah. ready? Whoa. <laughs> Watch it. We weren't exactly in cue that time. I know. I know. We weren't. We may have to redo that. Uh, oh, take two. No. Take two. <laughs> we don't. So that would be we don't, we don't. We don't do take two. So well, that would be reversing. It's take one, and that's all you get. Mm -hmm. Howdy, y'all. I'm Mr. Holga. And I'm Todd Puckett. And this is Don's Used Photo Equipment. All day. So, Todd, today, 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 we're going to we're gonna we're gonna try and single topic this one as best we can. We're gonna talk about something is very exciting. This is our first time for everything. I know. Yeah, and there's no yeah. guarantee we're gonna get through this, guys. Yeah, so yeah. just count the number of topics we get through here. Yeah. So today we are going to discuss with y'all. Y'all. This is Texas. Yeah. Uh, no, it's the South. We're South gonna West. discuss the best 35 millimeter film cameras for beginners. Oh, okay. Okay. We're gonna okay. talk about the best. The, the very best. For beginners. For beginners. For beginners. So I've got I've got in my hand yes. the very best camera. And we both agree. This is very strange. We both agree what that camera should be, right? Did we rehearse this? No, we never okay. agreed. Well, All right. So all right. on three, here we go. Yeah. The very best camera for students, is for students. For students, for yeah. beginners. The very yeah. best camera is yeah. Canon A U R and Nikon F one hundred. No, oh, you can't do the F one hundred. No, it's you know an F one hundred. I know it's it's a great camera. You can't do an AE one. I can do it because students. No, no, no. There's students and then there's this is beginners. For... Oh, beginners, <laughs> not students. Beginners are students. Well, but but, but 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 for classes, that's that's a no no. Why is this a no no for for classes? Because students can set the auto on the functions and not learn and cheat on this. Yes, you... they can, but. This does everything that camera does and more. What more does it do? <laughs> it auto focuses. <laughs> okay, wait, we're talking students, not 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 70 year old photographers. All right, all right, all right. So we're going to start right the here. Students can so still see. They students, can sit there and look you, you and sit would, there and go, hey, well, I, I can see that. You're absolutely correct. Most course, students, blind, most student, students but... for film photography are going to mm -hmm. come in and they want a fully manual camera. Because that's what their teachers tell And that's absolutely what yes. you want. However, if you're a student, that's what this you want. This is the one that I sell the most of. If the you're Canon not taking a class one. and you're a beginner. Oh, if you're not taking a class and, and you're a beginner. I highly recommend. Nikon F3. <laughs> <laughs> no, still the F100. <laughs> I win. I win. Look Look at this big thing. Look at this. Look, look at this uh, film advance you have here at the bottom. Yes. This thing automatically does it. Yes. Okay. Now, when someone comes up to rob you, uh huh, and you hit them with this, or you want to hit them with that, I could still hit them with this. You can hit them, but they're going to stay awake. You know, but you they're going to the say they're going to say, "Where did you get that Disney strap from?" Don and they're, they're no, camera. I didn't get this here. You didn't? <laughs> no, I didn't. You liar! You liar! <laughs> I did not get this strap here. I had. You have a gray one. I no, found no. a red one. I have a. Re I sold a. Oh, I didn't sell it to you. <laughs> no, you did not. I, I did have one. But somebody comes up and bothers you. This thing has eight batteries in the bottom of them. You hit them upside the head with that. <laughs> then take their picture when they're laying on the ground. This is the best for that. All right. So let's start with the uh, the Canon A1. Yeah. So let's start with that. And we're going to talk about that Canon as to A1. why this is perfect for students. Manual controls. Who can also be considered beginners. Yes. Beginners. Manual students. controls. Manual, manual, manual. Manual. Now, if I'm correct, first off, right off the bat. Yes. This does have a light meter inside, right? Built-in light meter. Built-in light meter. And so thusly it requires a battery. Battery. Which One is right here. teeny tiny little battery. Okay. Uh, is the I forgot the number on it, but so, I just caught the camera. So battery. if you're going to buy now, do you does the is the battery required for shooting? Yes. I mean, so the, it yes. won't actually photograph. It will not photograph. So a do not buy one of these cameras if you can't test it with the battery. Okay. Unless it's like twenty or thirty bucks, then buy it because it's worth that for parts. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. But yeah, and the lens. But you're a beginner. That. You don't want parts. Yeah, you, you don't want, want to work parts, in camera. Okay. Ah, All right. That. So tell me about this camera, Todd. Yes. Three things: exposure, value, scale, aperture, f, which is the f-stop. He's, he's already speed. gone to more fingers. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Three things, and, and he's up to right, five fingers. Getting them ready up to the right order too, because you want this one up first: aperture, uh huh, shutter speed, yes, film yes. speed. 
Those three things. Those are the three yes. things. Right here. Right here. This little ring. I don't know where you see it. Right? But anyway, this thing. We're going right to get some close ups. So F stop. Uh, wow. So no, we're going to get gonna some close ups. Extracurricular activity. We're going to get some close ups wow, here. But you go ahead and tell fancy them. Fancy video. F stops. Right there. Shutter speeds right here. Right the little ringy right here. That's the shutter speeds. Then you have right here the film speeds. Mm -hmm. Now, out of all three of these things, the film speed is set. So you've got 102. You got once you put your film in, it's you're that. set. Unless you push or pull it, and that's another episode. But then you set it over here on this little dial, and let's say you put 200. This is 100 speed film right here is what it has. Yep. So two of the one of the three is preset. That's it. Once you set it there, your you, film. You're, you're once you've loaded with this film, you and you've determined what you're going to shoot it at. Yes, that is set. That's the set. It. That's the speed set. is set. There's. The so you've got two other things to play with then after that to determine your photo. Now, when you look through here over to the side, it'll have a little list of numbers for your up stops yeah. and a little um, black line sitting in there pointing to which one you should use in that situation. And when you look through here and you push that button and then say here, focus it. All right, there. See, now you're in focus. Then what you have is saying this thing should be at 2.8. So you come down here, hit it at 2.8 mm -hmm. at eighth of a second. Wow, so that's No, slow. you can't hold it. You can't, can't hold an eighth of a so second. So I'll put it up to 60th of a second. Push this button, and now it says not enough light for 100 mm, speed film. No boy, no. So I'm going to have to go get faster speed film. Now, where can we buy film? Yeah, you, sh you should be able to buy film. Where could you buy film? There's there's a place. People talk about it all the time. <sighs> a place you can buy film. And film. The, the, film. It got great Yelp reviews, except for a few people. <laughs> Please, go go read the Yelp yeah. reviews. Love that. <laughs> uh Don's use photo equipment. We're just yeah. going to bottom just line. Come it. on in here and get some film. Yes, buy film. Buy film. And, and if you're so, going to shoot indoors, uh, I'm going to recommend a 400 or 800 speed, speed film. film. So we'll put this up to 400 speed film. If you're going to shoot outdoors, I'm going to recommend a put 100 or 200 speed film. And sit there and go, okay, at 60th of a second, F2. So I'll put it in between 1.8 and 2.8. And there we go. Mm -hmm. And then I cock it. And fire it, and this is going to be good exposure for this situation. A little cocky there. It was, but snappy with the comebacks. <laughs> <laughs> snappy. Yeah, so we got that whole thing going on. Now, while we're doing this, and I got this in my hand, I'm going to tell you, and I hate what. I had a few days off. I don't know if you did or anybody oh, else did. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, you didn't get the memo? Didn't get the memo. No, so you know, you I didn't get the memo. Off. And I laid around and watched TV okay. for hours. Yeah, you guys, uh, you guys don't realize that it uh, the snow apocalypse hit Texas here this week, and oh, we're, we're, we're recording it after. And Todd here clearly didn't, didn't get the memo. Did, did, you didn't get the memo. I was too busy watching TV. Did you not? You didn't get the memo that said we're all supposed to meet up in Cancun. Where it's warmer? No, no, I didn't get that one. <laughs> but I mean, it, um, but, uh, it came out if by it, Ted. Is, if, he, if it's good for <laughs> some, it's not it. good for it. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not on Ted's Oh, list. that was his wife, Heidi. She Heidi, sent it out. Heidi Ho? Yeah, yeah Heidi, <laughs> Heidi sent out. The memo. Oh, yeah, right, well, so. so what we do, since I missed the memo, I was sitting around watching TV. And of course, mm. I was watching the Highlander series. Now, there can yeah, be only one. There can be only one. Which is the motto of Hulk a Week, if I remember There could be only one winner. Only one, one winner. That's right. Only one champion for all the week. But don't say that because then they're going to sue you for stealing their thoughts. It has nothing okay. to do with Highlander. Nah, nothing to do. But I'm sitting here since Highlander has the Immortals and the Watchers. What mm -hmm. do the Watchers do? Take pictures. So a lot of times you'll sit there and see people around like this. And then they grab it like this. I'm going to throw something at the TV saying, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> don't put your hand up here like this and sit there and go like that. No. It's not the Highlander. It's a dumb wonder. Okay. Well, but, we're not really teaching them how to oh, use the camera. Sorry. We're just showing them sure. the benefits right of this here, camera right and why this camera is good for Hand under. beginners. And on top, it's because this is how you learn. You learn by being able to set the f-stop, the shutter speed, and the aperture manually. Now, this is as close That's as how you fully learn. manual as you could possibly get. Yes. Now, obviously, you can get one that doesn't have a light meter in it. Yes. And doesn't and doesn't require a battery for the shutter. Right. Around. That will be completely manual. That's a Nikon FM. FM. Yes. And the because the battery, if you, or the battery you, or only like, runs the meter. Or you you actually saw uh, I got a I got a Nikon F from you. Completely manual. Yes. Not not a not a stitch of anything going on with that sucker. Yep. And um, you had to put the battery up in the meter part of it, not in the camera part of it. Right, right, right. Now, so... But yes. 
this that's a good camera this because it really does teach you whenever you learn whenever you're beginning you want to learn about what each of these functions do and you do that by simply using them yes Instead you do of something like that you set it on the automatic and you go around happy snapping <laughs> you don't really learn all right so yeah there way. are going to be some differences but this yeah. one, this difference is going to be a little bit closer to uh digital cameras that you have today because yes now, i don't have to twist the aperture to change the aperture no. now, now when i load the film i have set the iso okay that is the same absolutely mm -hmm. the same yes now when it comes to changing the aperture instead of twisting this i'm going to be essentially rotating that. rotating a little further this yeah. is exactly like the dslr now if i want to change the uh the the speed not the speed if i want to change the aperture yes but then the other one is da, 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 da. sf stop and shutter the uh, chef's shutter speed and the film and the uh, f-stop yeah shutter speed yeah know. so i i could change the f-stop yeah. and i can change the shutter, shutter speed right now it's giving me an e because i don't have any film in here yeah so i only have those two options i can change the aperture and I can change the, the speed up a little sure. bit if I have it yeah. fully, fully. Which is speed. like this. You know, you can change these two once your shutter once your film speeds. But determined. the huge benefit to me, and why I think yeah. this is probably the best camera for beginners, is that I've got autofocus. And yes. so one of the things yeah. that takes me the longest to do is to focus the camera. But when you were younger, did it take you that long? Yeah, I probably did. <laughs> okay. I remember when, you know, I remember when these ah, first came out. So what what uh, was the first uh Nikon? It was the F4, right? Wasn't it? That yeah, was yes, the first yes, auto. I think. No, autofocus. Um was it the F4 or was it like their N80 or N90 uh, or something? I thought the F4, 5 and 6 were their their auto. That's their auto for the for the for the bigger, yes, for their flag for the top of the line. For their flag staff. And so after yeah. the F4, the F1, I think the F100 came out about the same time as the F5 uh, came out. Yes. So, well, you know so this has got a lot of functions like the you F4. you know the, the connection with no. that? It's because the F100 is pretty much the F5 with lesser functions. Right. So And, yeah, and for that, it makes it a towel. very good deal. Oh, man. You, now, put, you put an AF... S lens on that, and that thing is lightning fast in focus. Now, so the benefit that I have here is that I can use uh, both autofocus lenses and manual lenses, except for non-AI lenses. Yeah. So I could I could put, put those on here and yeah. I could use them. So I have a super wide variety of lenses that I can use for this camera. This lens can go on that camera. And it again, this is an AI S lens, so it is no problem what's going on there. Now, that's a whole nother session, but it's like, why? Because the non-AI has a flat bottom and will break the aperture ring right here. Right. Now, I can actually take his lens, except it's, yeah, I can take his lens because it's a D. At my, uh, I have a D lens on here and I do have an aperture ring. So, yeah, I can, fo this can be focused this via is, that ring. This is like an AF or an AFS. No, I'm sorry. This is like an AI or AIS yeah lens and we can sit there and put that on here and then you can still fully do the well, right now it's locked but yeah, yes you can locked. it's it's locked for this to a camera right now yeah so that's the cool thing about nikon is the interchangeable lenses it's a systems camera yes and, and so that's the, what they push and the benefit for me decades. as well is here's my d750 i could easily take any of my new modern uh 30 you know, autofocus lenses and i can put this on the same camera yeah. right here so uh this is my 35 millimeter 1.4 works on this just the same no problem there hmm. now i mean i yeah so other than yes i instead of twisting the aperture ring i'm just going to turn a little button here but i'm still going to yeah. set the aperture yeah and that's that's and an there's a there's a system inside of here that will sit there and tell you whenever you've got the proper lineup for your f-stop and shutter speed. Right. I've got uh, five spots for focusing. Yeah. I know. I know. Now modern cameras are saying, "Well, we've got a hundred and forty some odd uh, uh, look." No, I have five. I have five. And you this know what? Has one. Those five work fantastic for me. And this one right here has one, and it works great too because you sit there and you can sit focus on what you want is it the little popsicle in the middle of yeah the... <laughs> it's the split line and <laughs> the then you can line. move it and then that way that would keep that in focus but something else out right so you, you know you, it's a lot more involved with that and of course the other thing i like about this is the batteries yes double a batteries. double a batteries i mean i don't have to go and find out some special battery it's not a mercury battery it's not a special size battery i can go anywhere now this is the battery that powers this camera that these four, that. Uh, these four uh, power the camera, so, powers the meter, powers the film advance, all of it. There's a lot more to power. There is a lot more to power. Yeah. But I don't find that the batteries wear themselves out very much. The other thing I really like about this camera is the loading. 
Yes. Now, I'll, I'll demonstrate the loading here in a, in a little bit, but what ultimately all I have to do is I just put the film in there, I, I, lay, it I lay it across, and if I have the camera on, when I close the back, it will mm. immediately go bzz, bzz, and it's automatically loaded to one. Yep. Automatically. And it's it's su so super quick. And this I have one, a little bit more involved. It is a little bit more involved, and we'll we'll show that yeah, one as well. Later. Yeah. So uh, when I, I automatically load that, that's fantastic. And I have actually got this one set up to when it actually reaches that last one, that it automatically re rewinds it. Yes. Now it, by default, it doesn't rewind it. It'll just kind of sit there and look at you, which means you just hold down two buttons and then it will do it. I mean, you have some options here because it's a little bit of a program on this thing. If you want it to. Uh, wind up the film all the way into the canister, it will do that. If you yeah. want it to leave the leader out, it will do, do that, that too. Yeah, that's so, the press way. They call it that, I guess, the press so that it can, they can pull it out and develop it quicker. Quicker. Yeah. Quicker. So, yes, I like this camera a lot. Yes, and you know, and that these are great beginner cameras. This I, one, I can't, I can't yeah. argue that that one's not a great camera. You push the button on the bottom to release the uh, the the winder the 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 thing so it's not stuck in one direction, and then rewind it with your hand, and then yeah. you can sit there and guess. But if you you know you really can't leave the leader out unless you practice, because then you'll sit there and hear it go. You'll hear it click. The, the, the film as mm -hmm. it comes out of the out of the side. Yeah, once you hear that it's released in there. I mean, you, it's, it's a very just, easy to hear that, and I've done it too. Barely do it a little bit more and then open it up. But yes, this this is a little bit more intensely involved set up with uh, loading the unloading. My dad used to do that. He would, uh, so when he wanted, he would change films mid stream right. so uh oh, so, yes yeah. so yep. instead of shooting yep. an entire waiting until the entire roll was done it's like okay uh it's now evening i'm going to shoot indoors i've got 200 speed and it was like no no so what he would do is he would he's like okay i'm on frame number 12 he would go ahead and rewind it back he would hear listen to the little click he would pull out the film he'd write on what frame it was on yes he would put in a new, new no, thing of film, old style. And, old style. and he would go forward with that and of course i i don't know how successful he was at actually putting the film in and getting because you know he would have to yep. essentially click the button with the cap on or something like that until yeah, it... you cover it up and you just go, you advance to the normal and then you advance around 12 or 13. Well, you click you off have... 12 shots and then you, you know, you start yeah, one more extra just for spacing and then <laughs> you can finish the rest of it. And yes, actually I've known people to do that as well. Now but I that is an old, I mean, that is like way back in the day. Now I brought this, this beauty with me Yeah, because it's not, it is not a camera for beginners. No. Uh, now, of course, I, I have reasons. now whether it's a Leica, whether it's a rangefinder, or a, this is a Leica M3 or a Leica M6. There are mm -hmm. lots of reasons why this is not a camera for beginners, because it's harder to use. Now, it it's it's it definitely looks like a camera a camera camera bling. Excuse me, I was yeah. about I was about to say camera porn. I don't want to say that. No, no, it no, says no. camera bling. I mean, it's, it looks like a really nice well, camera. It says the Leica. Vapors, the vapors. It, it's. It's super cool. It's rangefinder. It's really cool and very popular. But it's not as easy to use no. because for this particular one, I'm going to have to use a separate light meter. I'm going to have to fiddle with this. Then I'm going to have to get all this stuff set. And then I'm going to have to get it all nicely lined up. Now, I still am going to set the aperture. I'm still mm -hmm. going to load the film. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at loading the film. Yeah, loading the film is, is a pain in the butt. So I have pain. to remove the bottom. And no, we don't say, and you, we and say you, boat. It's a pain and, in the and boat. And you throw it away. It's not a pain. It's a boat. Uh, you have to lift up the little back here. Yep, but that yet yeah, that's still. You're going to end up putting. You're going to end up having to. You have to pre-thread the film on this one side, then slide and then it you all have to in slide together. them both in together because the the new the film cartridge is going to go over here. The le the leader end which you put over here to put over. Here, you you have this little door open so yep. you make sure it gets all nicely lined up in here. Yes. Uh, it is just, and of course, like I said, you've got this lovely little flap here because now this yes. was an improvement because the uh, the old Leicas, like the Leica 3 and things like that, they didn't have the little flap. You were actually kind of, the best way that I could do that was I would remove the lens and I would put in B the, mode the so, that, so yeah. that I could go through there. The, the non-ilm. It the, is. The old it's, Roman it's numeral pain, 3. It's a pain to load. It's, yeah. And it's then you not, put the bottom back. Now, you can also wind up losing the bottom. Nope, you have to put that in on first. Yeah. And so there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a lot of steps to it. Now, I'm not saying this doesn't take great yeah. pictures. Now, 50 millimeter lens, 50 millimeter lens, 50 millimeter lens. Ultimately, at the end of the day, you're going to be taking a picture with a 50 millimeter lens, mm -hmm. and they're, they're all going to be good pictures. Now, you, you, can we a little bit of history on this thing? Go for it. You know, okay, a little bit of history. When 35 millimeter cameras were being made in the 20s and 30s, the, the, the 
bold date that when they about a hundred years ago. Good grief! Yes. Wow. Happy yeah, we're, anniversary. We're, we're getting up on that. We're getting up on that. The thing with with Leicas is that the lenses that were made back then were not really coated mm. because yeah. everything being shot was, and you look through this and you really don't see much coating on this thing because everything was shot in black and white. They really didn't have color film back right, then. Right. So Leica did not really coat the lenses because they were shooting black and white. And that's why you have all of that, that texture that you get with an old Leica camera. And that's why all of the greats loved shooting Leicas is because of that look with black and white film. Now their competitor at the time was Contax. Okay. Contax coated the lenses. And so ergo, back in the 30s and 40s and 50s, Contax was great for shooting color film. And uh -huh. that's where right, Kodak right. Kodachrome was like beautiful. You take an old Contax camera, shoot it, beautiful colors because the lenses were made for the color photography. Leicas kept it off for black and whites. I mean, whenever you sit there and sure. see all of that yeah. stuff, you don't see a whole lot of people with color film running through Leicas in that time frame. No, no, because you don't. Because of the lenses and the coatings on it. And and what do a lot of street photographers shoot? Black and black white. Black and white. Yes. And you know, th and yes, a camera like this could be a great street photography uh, yes, camera. Yes, it's quieter. You could set it up, Sunny 16. Uh, you're, you're right. Yes, as a matter of fact, listen to this is how. I mean, yeah. it's just a. You hear that? Yeah, that's, it sound, it's just so a. I, here, I'm going to do it again, and, and then you. Yeah. I, trust me. Nobody really, it's like, it's like, so what? But people recognize the sound yeah. of a shutter. And it's, you know, especially when uh, uh, modern cell phones, they still, they can have that they shutter, have that, that, they that have shutter the, sound. But they have that shutter sound, not well, this shutter well, sound. Actually, it's a, I think it's the Nikon, F, it's an A1 or an F3 that, that, that they actually got that shutter sound from. So there's like the one that you hear a lot of times, even when they're shooting digital cameras on TV, and then you hear that, that this, you, it's a, it's a digital camera that gives a, a sound like that. It's like, I think it's either an A1 or an F3 that they copied. And that's pretty much the generic sound for all the, right, right, right. All the things on TV. It's hilarious. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. See, it's that sound. Yes. And this is kind of a cool sound. Yeah. So. It is a good sound. And now that that doesn't have the the cannon squeak to it. No, no. no. But no. you know, the, the cannon squeak is also a unique sound too. Yes. To you cannons. don't get it on Nikon's, Minolta's, or Ricos or anything else. So I'm still gonna say for beginners, I would prefer the F1. Now let's talk about cost here a little bit because there's another reason why I think this is a fantastic program. Now, okay. mind you, I'm not talking about the lens, okay. and you're not talking about the lens. We're just gonna talk about the body of the camera by itself. Body of the camera cost me a buck and a quarter. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good, de decent deal for a camera that will do autofocus mm -hmm. and shoot film. Because I'm thinking a Nikon F5 and definitely a Nikon uh, F6, you know, it's going to cost you hundreds more. As a matter of fact, I think I was looking at Nikon F6s, which are the last uh, film cameras oh, those are on eBay. They're, well, I know, but some used ones, good used ones on eBay, you know, $1,300, $1,500. Thousand, yeah. And of course, I don't know if that came with the lens or not. But I mean, this this is a 50 millimeter lens. Uh, I used one you could probably get for what, uh, 200 or less? Less. I mean, yeah, the auto, the, there's a lot of those that are. Yeah, this, this is a very common, this is the, uh, the 50 millimeter 1.8. Yeah. It's very common. It's, it's a bargain. It Some of those you can check up it. around 75. I mean, just, there's lots of factors involved. So in that. this, this combined. So let's say it's 75 for the lens, buck and a quarter for the body. This is 200 bucks. The leather, the, the, the strap end, yeah. here probably is three, $400 itself. So, so. Yep. 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 That's because he didn't buy it at Don. <laughs> I did not. But uh, I think this is a fantastic a camera for beginners. These things are actually going up and, and in you... value. This right here is the Canon AE one. I don't know what they're really see. That's the deal. I don't really sell them separately. You sell them together. I lens, sell them together lens and body because the students they need why. the lens they and the body. Lens and the body. So this right here, you'll see run around one seventy five to two twenty five with a fifty one one seven or fifty two point two lens uh, f two lens. Okay. And F2 lens, not like not, the 1.8 or the 1.4. The 1.4 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. lens, that lens alone is going for around a 51.4, depending on what version. Yeah, yeah. About 125 to 200 bucks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those, those things are, in, they're, they're, they're just expensive. So, yeah, it's really weird. But you can still pick these things up at bargain bins for about 50, 75 bucks occasionally. 
Oh. And whenever you do, grab it. Now, don't get me wrong. I do love uh, me a fully manual camera. I've got many of them. I've got the, uh, I've got the, I've got many, uh, many I've got the Nikon F. I've got yeah. the uh, F3. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got the, uh, the F. Is it the F uh, F M N or is it? Uh, there's an F M N two, F M N two. Yeah, that's the one I got. An F M there, M N three. three. A. Yeah, three A. I don't have the three A. Now three A was supposed to be the best of the best when it that came was, to fully cool. mechanical. That was cool. Yeah. But I have the F M N two. Love the F three. And I love the set. The the shutter on that thing is so crisp. And oh, awesome. the F M two fully manual. Now you know the difference between the F M and F M two. What? All right, the F M. This, this is what I, sh I can sh actually show you on this. Now, this has the auto indexing lever right okay. here on it. Now, the FM has a metal auto indexing lever right, right, that right. you can actually push a button on and lift up like this one. And so you can use the non-AI lenses? Yes. Okay. Now, when that's flipped up like that, again, you know, if you do, do your close-up shots on it or whatever, but <laughs> this thing right here, allows you to put non-AI lenses on it. Because if, if this AI lever's down and you put a non-AI lens on it, the uh, FM2, mm -hmm. it's plastic. And it will break the auto-indexing thing. Yeah, and, and that's very sad. The, the camera's dead because nobody's going to fix it because you have to take so much apart. You might as well just get another camera. It's going to be so well. expensive. But yes, that's the M FM, FM2. That's the difference is that... Also, the other difference is, is that the FM goes up to a thousandth of a second or two thousandths of a second, and the FM2 goes up to two thousandths or four thousandths of a second. It yes. goes up. And, it's and one, it one goes more, up tremendously. Sorry. It goes up to four. Two. It either goes up to four thousand or six thousand. No, four. But, or eight, but it's, doubles. it's it one of those that I really like. It goes up because four, it has four that thousand extra. Or eight thousandths of a second. You can, really, you can really add the extra speed to it, which is great. And sometimes right. you feel the need for speed. You do. So I love my F100 and I highly recommend it. I love my Canon 81 or Pentax K1000. Yeah, there are still and many. Now these aren't the only two. Uh, obviously there's the uh, the Olympus OM. I don't know which oh, one. Oh man, there's all of them. The OM1, yeah. OM2, OM3. But whenever you get past the two, the three and the four were the little bit more upper scales. Also, IE a little bit more expensive. Right, right. There's the old Minolta's. I like the X700. I, I, inher X3, I inherited seven, uh, 350, uh, Mrs. Holga's uh, Pentax K1000. Mm -hmm. uh, See, still a very basic camera, only goes to 12,000 like on a shutter speed. I like the K1000 myself because on the K1000, when you're looking through it, you can sit there and see the needles and then make adjustments without having to lift up yep. and go like this. But the Canon AE-1, the one thing that I that I don't like about this is that when it sits there and tells you to do F2, you have to then physically go up here and look and, and change it. But it will tell you, but then it don't won't show you what you're actually <laughs> yeah. set on. Uh, with the Pentax K1000, you can look through. It'll tell you what to do, and mm -hmm. then you will see it inside when you hit that, and you'll know that you're at F whatever you, it says. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, all right. So essentially, that was all we were going to share with you on what I, we think. That's one topic. I understand that. Wow. Hold on. Hold oh, on. Sorry. Just, He's, he's, he's jumping. He's jumping. So, wow, we just it's did one caffeine, topic. man. Caffeine. <laughs> so that was our essentially our recommendations for the best uh, 35 millimeter mm -hmm. film uh, SLR cameras for beginners or students. Our students. Man, we covered it all. Uh, we did. So you guys, uh, thank you all for watching right. and sharing. That's As right. a matter of fact, uh, it, 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 you said we were dangerously close to our first 1,000 <gasps> video. Yes. And we're yes. not going to try and stray too hours on topic, but this was a big deal for us. It is. Mile markers. We're mile right markers. now, we're at 999 views for... For one of the videos. We're not going to say which one. One of the one, videos. One of, and another one is only 50 behind it. Only 50 behind it. So we have two. That we are, have two potential videos who are going to be clicking well, up to the 1,000 yeah. mark. The, the bring back, the, the one of them is going to hit it. By the time this thing comes out, okay. <laughs> but there's a bunch of things that are like in a group. But it's fun. To, I, I know I get really caught up. In well, y'all, we we to are gonna thank you, thank you, thank you for watching the videos, so, and please do so, share, so, like, subscribe. subscribe, definitely subscribe. Watch us on that on TV. That's the fun thing, man. Uh, it you really know, I, is. Said, I said once, I said, uh, I said, please go tell your mom and have her start watching the videos. But then I realized that my kids were watching it, and uh, kids, I do not want you telling your mom to watch. But everyone else. Everyone please. else, go tell your mom and, and have them subscribe. Yeah, Bob told told her mom, and, and Bob's yeah. mom loves us. So, hi, Bob's mom. 
Also known yeah. as what, what is Bob also known as? Uh, uh, Emily. Ooh, Emily. Ooh, yeah. Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Yeah. She doesn't watch, so her mom will sit there and go, "Oh, that's, they talked about." They talked about, about you again. Again. <laughs> well, guys, that's essentially it for us. Uh, so yes. beginner cameras, fill like, them up, subscribe. All that good stuff. All that good stuff. Yes. And, and, and our stay, hours and stay to watch. Warm. Please There's just please stay going warm. up and up. We appreciate that too. Yeah. Stay we, warm. We had a lot of people watch us because they didn't really get out much. If you're at home Thank freezing you. to death right now, Thank please you. watch our videos. Yeah. And stay absolutely. warm. Yeah. That's, that's it, it for us, guys. We'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye bye. Now. Up and Ooh. out. Oh, man. That worked. Almost. Dangerously close. Dangerously close. Yeah. We got one, 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 one topic, a one topic video. I didn't think you could do it, Todd. I didn't think you had it in you. No, there's so much to talk about. <laughs> I got more. Let me tell you about.